This week on TGC News, Reddit and Citibank join the anti-freedom crowd, a double mag PCC lower, and two new long-range rifles. 1776 United offers some of the most patriotic and pro-2A apparel you can imagine, whether you like your tea in the harbor or your Molon Labade, or maybe you just prefer some subtle liberty and freedom. Either way, you won't get treaded on when you use the code TGC10 to get 10% off your entire order over at 1776united.com. Welcome back everyone, my name is John Patton and you are watching TGC News. First things first, we just hit 125,000 subscribers on YouTube. That is absolutely astonishing and I seriously thank you guys for trusting us as the source for gun related news. Also, quick shout out and thanks to those that jumped over and supported us on Patreon over the last week. There's been a whole bunch of you, so thank you to those guys. That does not go unnoticed. Now, the news. 9mm carbines are all the rage right now. Between 6.5 Creedmoor and pistol caliber carbines, I don't know who would win a popularity contest. It's not a surprise, then, that more and more companies are focusing on pistol caliber carbine parts. Enter a company called Foxtrot Mike Products. This is their new RTC, or ready-to-customize lower, for the 9mm carbine and it has a few interesting features. First up, it is made mostly of polymer. I know a bunch of you guys just scoffed because polymer lowers are a problem for some of you. Yeah! Oh, well, they've thought of that and utilized an aluminum rear insert that is molded into the lower. The entire buffer tube loop and below into the safety selector area contains that insert. This tackles the issue that concerns folks of the buffer tube impacting something external and snapping off of the receiver. Oh, snap! Beyond that and the overall look of the lower, there are a couple of other things that stand out. The grip, for one, is actually designed like the grip of your normal pistol to accept an extra magazine. It has a normal button release on the side and all. I'm not sure it would be like the fastest way because you're kind of combining pistol and rifle mechanics, but it is still pretty cool in my book. And last but not least, it's ambidextrous except for the bolt catch. Again, pretty cool. All of that for the price of 149 bucks. What do you guys think of this? Would you buy this over any of the other options that are on the market, like New Frontier Armory, Angstad, or Quarter Circle 10? Would you get this FM over those? And in Gundustry Struggle Bus news, not only are we all being threatened by looming gun control measures and a Congress that just passed fixed nicks, but we are also now dealing with corporate America and their undereducated nonsense. On March 22nd, Citibank announced that they will be placing their own restrictions on their retail customers regarding firearms. The new policy says that businesses are fine as long as they, one, don't sell firearms to someone who hasn't passed a background check. I don't know of a retail establishment that would do that. Two, they restrict the sale of firearms for individuals under 21 years of age. Yep, that's right, age discrimination. And three, they don't sell bump stocks or high-capacity magazines. And unlike the YouTube nonsense, this version of high-capacity magazines remains undefined. So now we are seeing the people that control the funding implementing their own firearms discrimination and restrictions to circumvent the law. Needless to say, I hope this plague does not continue to spread. At the same time, though, this would be an opportunity for a bank to assert themselves as open to doing business with anyone and soak up the dollars from the gun industry. On top of that, Reddit recently shut down a few subreddits, such as our gun deals and our brass swap, due to some new policies on the site. Essentially, the policy says that you cannot solicit or facilitate the sale of firearms or ammunition, among other things like stolen goods, drugs, prostitution, personal information, and falsified documents. Yes, that's right, guns are being lumped in with illegal activity in this new Reddit policy. I understand the fact that they don't want people to be using the site for illegal activity, but guns and ammo are totally legal to possess, so why lump that in with all 
all this other illegal stuff. For those of you that are unaware, Reddit is one of the largest aggregator sites on the internet where you could essentially find anything. The traffic generated from that site is staggering. And now you can't even so much as mention a place to buy a gun without fear of getting banned. Law-abiding citizens being silenced yet again, my friends. In AR-10 news, a company called Double Star has expanded their lineup of Star 10B rifles with the addition of two new cartridges, the 6.5 Creedmoor and the 260 Remington. They're calling them the Star 10BX. Breaking down the features on both rifles, we've got a 22-inch stainless steel heavy barrel with a 1 in 8 twist topped off with a big old three-chamber muzzle brake. That is covered with a 15-inch Samson 308 Evolution handguard. They both, of course, have the standard Star 10 receivers, which includes that downward slope to the magwell and grip portion on the front. It's kind of weird looking. They also come standard with a CMC three and a half pound trigger, a Hoke grip, and an Ace Hammer stock, all for the MSRP of $2,549. Don't get me wrong, guys. I think this could be a very nice rifle. I don't know because I've never had the chance to mess with a double star. But that price tag is almost as steep as that weird Magwell. I want to know what you guys think, though. Would you rather build your own AR-10 or would you pony up and get one that comes from a reputable builder? Brand CLP offers an entire lineup of non-toxic cleaners and lubes for the discerning shooter. You can use their bore and bolt to clean up carbon, fouling, or rust, and then follow it up with their CLP, or for hot and heavy applications, the hog grease, for before, during, and after the range. Find out what the nano-infused bio-friendly lineup from Rand CLP is all about over at randclp.com. This time, our gun tuber of the week was actually picked by you guys. I think it's high time I let you guys decide who gets the title of gun tuber of the week, and I think Mosberg is going to lose his mind because he literally tells me to shout out this guy every single week. <laughs> you guys know the videos, you know the man, you know that he is Paul Harrell. Hi, we're out on the range today, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Hi, we're out on the range today, so please bear with gunfire you hear in the background. Today, once again, we're talking about body armor. On your left is a 40 Smith & Wesson, and on your right is the 357 SIG. Obviously, it would be irresponsible to put the body armor on somebody and then shoot them. And now, of course, it's time for the meat target. So what we are going to do is put the body armor on the meat target. Now, I'm not a doctor. I don't even play one on TV, but I think I can safely pronounce this patient dead. So a good round, I'd say yes. The right one for you, you be the judge. So is body armor worth wearing? You be the judge. I know a lot of you are already subscribed to Paul, but if you aren't yet, head over there via the links down in the description and get subscribed. Don't forget to tell him TGC sent you. And guys, that is it for this week's show. If you dislike this video, hit that button. If you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, and consider supporting us via the links in the video description below. We have a new Amazon affiliate store, as well as a link to purchase cool t-shirts just like this one. And of course, links to find us all over your favorite social media platforms. And as always, thank you all for watching. We'll see you soon. The shirts worn in today's video on The Gun Collective have been provided by Patriot Patch. Closed captions have also been brought to you by Patriot Patch Company. Be sure to click the link in the video description to check out all of their great products, including their cleaning mats.